The main reason for getting the hot air sortering station was to see if I could hand sorter some of the no lead IC packages. So I ordered a little test board that will hold a couple of DFN packages and a small QFN. The PC board is the standard two layer prototype service from Osh Park. So I have three boards and three of each IC to practice with. I'll start with the 10 pin DFN boost regulator IC. It has two of the lead pads connected to the thermal pad. That made getting a kind of even amount of sorter on the pads a little difficult. Preheating the PC board would have helped with this, I'm quite sure. I kind of got lucky with this first one, as it worked the first time. I didn't realize why till I looked back at the video to see that I pushed down on the IC and I think that let the sorter wet all the leads. Took three tires on the second 10 pin. That's when I decided to look back and see what I was doing different. So by the third board, I was starting to make some adjustments. I ran the air temperature at 850 degrees for all of these. The first two boards, I had the air volume at 15%. I moved that down to 10% for the last board, and I was happier with the lower airflow. Still too much sorter on the thermal pad here. I don't know if I had the right amount of sorter on the thermal pad. Would it even be necessary to push down on the chip? But pushing down on it did seem to make for a successfully sorted part. The 8 pin DFN temperature I see was the easiest. I don't know if that's because it's only 8 pins or because it was the last in my sequence of ICs and I was starting to get a feel for them. Too much thermal pad sorter. That will be the theme for this entire video. Beads of sorter coming out from under the chip as I push down on it. That can't be good, but there were no shorts. By the time I'm getting to the last chip, I have increased the amount of flux. That does seem to help get a nice bead of sorter on the lead pads. I keep reducing the thermal pad sorter, but I'm still using too much. But as soon as I push the chip down into the melted sorter, it kind of just snaps into place. The QFN was the hardest. I never got a successful first try on it. Excess sorter on the thermal pad seems to cause even more trouble for the QFN. Here on this first try, while the IC moved into position, most of the leads are floating above the pads with no sorter connections. So after getting most of the sorter off the thermal pad, then getting the IC sorted in position, I pushed down on it while reflowing the sorter. This was successful. The thinner lead pads on the QFN are more difficult to get a good bead of sorter on. One reason may be that I have the temperature of the soldering iron up too high. I think if I could keep more flux around while putting sorter on the pads, it would go on smoother. And I'm leaving just too much sorter on the thermal pad. I'm really going to have to work on that. I never could get the QFN package to snap in place like the DFNs. So more practice, that's for sure. Ah. 
and again I had to resort to pushing down on the part while reflowing the sorter to get a successful mount. I could feel the chip move down when the sorter melts, but getting the QFN packages aligned was hard. After the 9 ICs, where am I at? Well, I need a lot more practice. These are not going to be my go-to package anytime soon, that's for sure. But if I run across an IC I like and it only comes in a no-lead form, I won't just push it aside like before and look for something else. I'll use it. Maybe some multiple tries here, but I'm counting 100% success on these 9. Didn't destroy any chips or PC boards, and everything is working as it should. The no-lead packages seem to be durable. One of the 20-pin picks I've had on and off the board I think six times. It still works fine. I want to thank the people that commented on the Atten video. While these boards were done before I had that information, the valuable information in those comments will be put to good use in the next round of no-lead package practice. This brought to mind. It wasn't so many years ago I wondered if my hobby electronics was coming to an end with the demise of dip packages. Now here I am under a microscope, trying to sort a part with 0.4 millimeter lead pitch. I guess when you want to do something, can always find a way. Thank you for watching.